I've had it up to here with your comments. I'm just kidding. I love you guys' comments. You bring me joy. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I want to go ahead and answer some of you guys' comments right here in the video. So let's go ahead and jump off into those comments and get started. The first comment is from Nan Free, and her comment says, I really learned a lot from your video. Thanks. I have a question about extracting a frame for my video to use as a thumbnail on YouTube. As you know, they have hideous thumbnails, and a thumbnail for my video makes me look like a crazy woman. They give you three from which to choose, and they're all bad. Can this be done with PowerDirector or another module of Cyberlink? Thanks. Well, Nanfri, there's a simple solution to your problem. There's actually a snapshot feature built into PowerDirector. Now, underneath your preview window, you'll see a little camera icon. That's the button that you want to click on to take the picture. So what you want to do first is you want to move your playhead to a position on your video of the frame that you want to capture as your thumbnail for your YouTube video. Once you get your playhead where you want it, go ahead and click on that camera icon and it will go ahead and pop up a little box and you can go ahead and name your uh, thumbnail, whatever you want to name it, and it'll save it on your PC for you to go ahead and use later to use as the thumbnail in your YouTube video. Pretty freaking easy, right, Nan Free? I know you love me, girl. The next comment is from Natasha Bryan, and her comment says, Hi Malik, your videos are awesome. Where do you get those great effects like the sound at the start of the video on your timeline at 8 seconds? Well, Natasha, most of my stock footage that I use, which includes uh, video clips, uh, sound effects, music, all of that good stuff, I get from digitaljuice.com. So digitaljuice.com is a royalty-free website, which means that you pay them to use their royalty-free footage, and that way you can't get in trouble for using the music or the pictures or whatever on your site because they give you permission to use all of those things on YouTube by you paying your upfront fee plus whatever your monthly fee is for having a subscription with digitaljuice.com. So there's a bunch of different plans that they offer. To sign up could be a few hundred bucks, all right? I'm not even gonna act like it's cheap because it's not cheap to first sign up. But after you get signed up, then it's like $10 a month to go ahead and use a feature. Or if you pay for a subscription that's high enough, then you might not have to pay anything at all. But you're going to have to pay a bunch up front for that. Um, I actually have a monthly subscription, but I had to pay a, a fee up front to get into that deal. So there are other sites out there, Natasha, that you can go to that are totally free, that you can go ahead and get royalty-free songs or sound effects and things like that. You just need to Google it, search it, and see which sites are best for you. And also make sure that if you use something that's free, if there are any um, conditions that you need to follow to use it for free, like naming the person in your video or in your description or whatever, make sure that you follow that because you have to do that or they could say you didn't have permission to use their sound effects or their footage. And the last comment is from Thy King of Dip. And his comment says, How do I switch the format of the video output? It only puts out in .pds, but that's an image file according to my computer. Please help! All right, Thy King of Derp, I got your answer for you. Basically, what you're doing is you're not exporting the video, you're saving your project. So if you click on File and Save, or file save as, then what happens is PowerDirector saves your project as a .pds file. A .pds file is a PowerDirector script file which provides a script to PowerDirector to tell it to grab all these files and put them in this order and all this stuff to save your project so that you can go back to your project at any time 
just by clicking on that file or opening that file. So you're saving your project. You're not exporting it. What you need to do to export your project to a file format that you can place online, that you can save on your computer or whatever, and be able to view the video is you need to go to the produce tab. Once you get to the produce tab from there, you can choose the format of how you want to produce the file. You can choose 2d, 3d, all type of good stuff. If you choose 2d, which is what I use most of the time for YouTube, then you're able to go ahead and select from the available file formats as presets, or you can click on custom and create your own file format um, with your own custom frame rates and things like that. So make sure that you go to the produce tab, thy king of dub. All right, Power Director peeps, that's all the comments for the day. Before I get out of here, I want to send a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, Just Vlog It With Shane. Just Vlog It With Shane makes vlogs and short skits on his YouTube channel. So if you want to see some vlogs or some short skits, make sure you head on over to his channel, watch a couple of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want to get a shout out like Just Vlog It With Shane did, make sure that you go to the shout out request form in the video description and go ahead and fill that out. And if you want to make a tutorial request, make sure that you go to the video description and fill out a tutorial request form. Now I got a few things I need you to do for me. Now, if you want to add to the discussion in this video, you got uh, things to add to the comments that were left, or if I left anything out, add those things to the comment section below. Also, if you just want to chop it up, you got your own comments, leave those in the comment section as well. Now, there's a thumb, the one that's pointing in the upward direction. Click on that because it lets other people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.